You guessed it, more of that Half-Life action, or Black Mesa action. Black Mesa, as Mr. Mitchell Shepard once said, or, well, <laughs> the G-Man who played Mitchell's, or, the guy who played Mitchell in uh, Hunt Down the Free Man. I'm not even sure that was his fault. Obviously, they could have told him, or he could have just pronounced it correctly, but chances are, he didn't know how it was pronounced, and he pronounced it wrongly, and because of the piece of shit, you know, voice acting, putting together, and how barely anybody got a first, or, you know, barely anybody got a second take, I'd imagine that that was because he was never told properly. He never got to correct himself. Other than that, actually, I, I think that the G-Man in Hunt Down the Freeman, the voice actor at least, I think he was pretty good. Honestly, the G-Man voice actor is the only good thing about the game Hunt Down the Freeman. Why is he banging his head against the glass? Doesn't he know that that's gonna hurt? Whatever. Screw that guy. I like how... Gordon runs with the revolver in this game. I'm gonna do a supply run. Where, 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 where? There you are. Crossbow. Periodic table of elements. I like that it's outdated. Like, that's a good thing. Because obviously, at this time of, you know. I wish I could no clip into here and there'd be like a scientist who tells me to fuck off and then the game just crashes. Wait, what are these names? McLean? Vavilov? Tart? <laughs> this, that guy's probably in a sour mood right now. Bad cop. Dale? Allen? Ayers? Riemann? I'm pronouncing all these correctly. Nielsen, that, that's Joel Nielsen, the music composer. Freeman, oh, Foreman, that's boring. Horn, Jonik, let me look for more names. There are no names. Yes. Two lovers dying together. At least that's my interpretation of the image. 
I, I'm gonna just screenshot this and post it on Steam. It ain't no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. Open the door. Two scientists hiding out somewhere in the lab. Maybe with the both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out of here. Does this say anything meaningful? Nah. Guys, that computer's fucking invincible. You're not, though. None of you are. Just that one. Alright, so... Ready when you are. You're gonna wanna take this guy with you through the whole level. I'm also gonna need some soda for the road. You? You want some soda for the road? I guess he doesn't. That's fine. Crouch walk up to this next segment. I don't know if this is a loading zone. Alright, don't crouch walk into loading zones. It'll just stick you into the ground and no-clip you. And you'll be stuck. Even though I have cheats on... Well... Wait, no, I don't have cheats on. Matt Fulbright is not an SV cheats protected command. Don't let this guy die. That was very cool. Wow. Now we have an SMG. Maybe there's a shotgun in here too. And there is a shotgun. Uh... I wouldn't say it does. No, it doesn't. You look perfectly fine, Calhoun. Calhoun clone? I don't know. I like that... What? What did you say? I wish I knew what you said. So, yeah, this chapter is pretty great. We get a few good weapons in it. Obviously, we get the crossbow back, which is technically the first actual chapter we have the crossbow. I don't really consider apprehension to be that because it's short and you kind of lose it fast. And you only get it, like, halfway through. Still, y you get to have some fun with it, like killing the... Black Ops, uh, oh, flashlight's on, alright. You go on without me. I think there are Marines in here. Aren't there? Isn't there a fight in here? Well, that's not a marine. So, whatever the hell is in here. Uh, hi. You should, uh... Oh, that guy's corpse is fine. That's very cool.
away. These guys are gone. Okay, no, this looks too bad. Oh! Shit. Fine, then. Just reset me. There we go. Dead. Person. Yeah, that's right. Oh, boy. What do I do? Alright, here. So instead, you can just do this. And then redo it. We're also going to have to be careful because they might start coming this way. Survivors, that is. Oh, wait, no. Right, so now we get this guard back. Go through here. And wow. Normally we probably don't do that, but I mean, I'm a good shooter, surprisingly. It's blue. My cat's over there. I'll be damned. I think we just found our scientist. Doesn't look like the front door is an option. I'll stick around here and keep an eye on him. You want to go find a way to bust him out of it? Good idea. I won't. Oh my god, the snarks in this game are actually kind of cute. So this is a Zen Terrarium. Uh, the science team has actually been studying Zen for quite a while. There's a little piece of Zen that actually lives in here. It's a quarantine zone. Except be careful because, yeah. Take this cyanogen tank with you and gas them made a war crime. Ass, gas, or grass, nobody rides for free. It looks like you guys chose gas. What do I do? I don't know. Whatever. I guess that place is contaminated forever. But that was probably like a failsafe in case, you know, in case it gets too messed up there. Also, why is my audio not recording? Oh, no, it is. Okay, thank God. Game's just quiet. Oh!
Here we go. Wow, that was great. Turn on these beams. What else is back there? Other hostile life forms? <laughs> I double saved. Go ahead and unplug this early. Eh, keep these head crabs here. Oh, they're alive. They're well, I can't kill them. So probably not alive, I don't know. Also gibbed your best friend, so thanks for killing yourself and saving me the trouble of needing to kill you. I gotten like satchels and crossbows, but not just normal, regular working grenades. Aw oh, man, we missed the epic part. Look at it. thing can't be that powerful, can it? Oh yeah, that theme song for the weapon is really good. Where are the rest of them? The ATF should be here. They're very good at killing dogs. Why should I have to kill these dogs? My health is way too low for this to be comfortable. Like, I really need a health pack or something like that. search though.
let me just reset this. There we go. You have to be fucking kidding me. I have to redo this on an empty health pool. Alright. Careful not to take any damage here because look at my health pool. Hold on. Get out of this damn lab. Yes, but you'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. That fool Peter is taking on. I'm afraid he never made it down. <laughs> oh, what the heck gave me that belt? How did I get that health? Alright, this part is surprisingly easy. It's scary, though. What was this surgery machine even used for? Like, obviously surgery, but like, why? I wonder who used it. All right, folks. Let's get the hell out of here. What is it? Is there like more bullets? <laughs> Good idea. Also, I killed all these head crabs. I poisoned them. Health up, guys, because this next part is rough. Alright, these guys want me to go first. Scaredy cats. Here we go. Very badass section coming up. Hold your shotgun before anything else. Also, why was that guy taking so long? Here we go. is trying to kill me very hard. Wait, no. Oh, nope, they're trying just hard enough.
I'm trying to reset myself. Try and overcharge the machine. Like that. And then do that, I guess. I don't know. Here we go. about this. I need to be able to see where I'm going, that's what I'm doing wrong. Get into the... Get into my line of sight, you little prick. Some guys on the roof, that's all. Open up. Alright, now I can see where I'm going. And I did it perfectly when I found out where I was going. Indiana Jones reference. Look what you did! I can't believe what you did. I thought that was the part of the questionable ethics where, like, the scientists start to think that I'm a bad guy because of how many military guys I've been harming. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to successfully see what the recording time is. There we go. Found it. Alright. What is... Oh, there you go. I couldn't dare risk venturing out there, but I can yeah. Right. The complex, but you are coming. Now, don't go running Let me just do this. <laughs> Sorry, I just like doing that. Anyway. Who's saying that? Uh, oh great. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm not stuck. this is where we part ways. Thank you. That guy is good. He helped me. I helped him. You know, even though I like... Gordon, maybe you... I'm fine. You're not.
Wait, I didn't die of MP5 fire. I swear that door closed on me. Spread fire. You never know if there's more than one. Never mind. Sentries. What's doing that much damage to me? Oh, that guy. How did I not notice him the whole time? Unless maybe he wasn't there beforehand. Oh my god, what is caught? How did I get that much damage? That is not normal. These marines are kind of dumb. Like, what was that? Where? Where? What? Oh, sentry gun. And grenades. Oh, grenades. That's what gave me so much quick damage. Run, run. This part is frustrating, I'll tell you. Hold on. Oh, right. That's... Oh, there's only one sentry gun? I thought there were, like, more... Like, five. I don't know. Nope, there's another. Fucking shotgunners. Come on. Automatically reload, you idiot. Wow, funny, 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 funny. Great, 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 great job. Thanks for shooting me like that. Heart stomping piece of shit. Say heart stomp. I say heart stomping because I thought this game was fun and it stomps on my heart by not being fun. And instead of having these little military pieces of shit make it hard. Maybe it's because I'm playing on hard mode or something, but. Maybe I'm playing on hard mode, actually. Am I? Black Mesa, I don't know. Normal? 
Normal's fine. Although it's just surprisingly actually a little bit too easy. Never mind. I blew myself up to make it easier. Aw oh man, I wanted to shoot that crow. It's so satisfying to land a magnum shot and get shot at. And there we go. There we go. That's enough. That's enough. You can reload the rest later. Oh wait, that was already everything. Where did they mine? I like that it says that. That's funny. Fine. Reset. Again, I have to reset because this fucking game is not fair. Nope, that's already good. I actually got to kill those guys faster than they got to kill me. That guy too. And that sentry gun. Why have two when you can have one? Come on. You have no power over me. Ah, oh, man, I landed that shot. That was bullshit. You're, you're lying to keep yourself happy, game. And I really don't... do not like that. Come on, get shot. Oh my god. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you allow me to shoot you with my totally not lethal crossbow. There you go. I'll drop those $5,000 at your grave, you fucking bitch. Save. Oh, I had Matt Fulbright on this whole time. I figured it out, except my video looked like shit when I was doing it, but I mean, at least I figured it out. And hey, I'm alive. I have medkits. I have everything. Why would they have these in here? Oh, HEV, not the batteries. Okay, whatever. Was that really all? Did I really just kill every Marine in here? How about I do some supplies? And I got a battery. That's helpful, I guess. More ammo, more stuff, blah, blah, blah. A tank that, you know, thank God doesn't work. Another battery, very good. 
and a part where I can't see what I'm doing. Great. Well, no. Technically, I could, uh... No, you didn't even start firing. Stop trying to run. It took that turret several tries, but it finally hit me. I think I hit him. Well, anyway, I am not in a particularly great mood with myself. I mean, yeah, I'm happy I'm playing Half-Life, Black Mesa, whatever, same game. Although, I kind of would like to make myself suffer, so we're going to make this a double chapter episode and do the full entirety of, um, oh, a certain chapter which takes, like, Took me like three hours to complete initially. Some replays have been faster, some have been shorter. Well, this out of your bed. He sure is. Cute cat. So the next chapter is. Taking forever to load, that's one thing. That's the chapter, okay. When are we getting relieved? Now. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. That was a stupid move. Anyway. That'll teach you not to try and set a trap for free man. Or to stop anywhere in the Black Mesa facility. Screw security cameras, this is not George Orville's 1974,003. The next soundtrack is really good. Well, actually, I forgot to reload, so yeah. That's where we're supposed to get to, the other side of that canal.
what the hell? What caused me to get that low health? Like, what happened? Mm, normal difficulty, you idiot. Destroy this tank before it gets any bigger. No, open the gate. Health. Wow, that was not health. That was not health. That was not health. That was not health. Sorry, I'm pissed. entire U.S. military is no match for me. So, let's go. Uh-oh. No, I made a mistake. I, I made a few mistakes. Get me. Get me. Kill me. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. You did your job. You did your job. You did your job. You did your job. Let's run. No, run. can't see him. Listen to the soundtrack, bro. Forgot to kill that guy directly.
Dear God, that part was so difficult. But I mean, thank God we did it. Thank God I made a quick save, actually. Like, wow. Have to do some swimming, boys. Oh, that was lucky. No, no, just run down here. They can't follow you down the drain. But their shitty source engine physics can. Anyway, guys. We made it down this canal. We are all good. Guess those US Marines can't follow us for now. So this is beautiful here, like this entire game. running because these next few parts are a little bit difficult yeah the soundtrack for this game is so good uh, especially surface tension and zen Let me just look around. I'm so glad that there's a reason to break every crate now, and that I don't look like an insane degenerate piece of filth who deserves to die when I do it. Anyway, that little leverage thing can sometimes ramp me off this area. It's really bullshit. Like, I actually can't believe it exists. So I've been Mesa Blacking for like, what, an hour? That's pretty awesome. There's some triumphs. Hey. It's not my fault this the revolver is so good at killing things. Alright. 
This fence really hurts, by the way. Oh my god, they have... Oh, those are shells. I thought that was the grenade sparks. Learn how to use a shotgun, for Christ's sakes. Maybe I can kill him with this sound. I'm better at misusing the shotgun than you are, sweetie. Sweetie, I called him a sweetheart. Oh, my little marine. Aren't you killing your scientists and getting your healthy diets today, yes? Alright. You missed. You had one chance to prevent the military from uh, getting blown up by the US government and you failed. You're gonna get fired for that. Well, no, you aren't, because you're dead. So, I saved you. By killing you, I saved you from getting fired. That's me being a good man. Hold on. There were supplies I need. Found him. What's making that noise? Oh, you. Alright. Just as I was about to tell you guys about the landmines, I got killed by one. Or... I stepped on one. You're not the only one, head crab guy. Who? What on earth are you still doing here? Bye. At least other people are dying that aren't me. Alright, that's enough. I've had my fill of excitement in this loading zone for today. Alright, crawl through this area, and here comes the most epic section of this entire game. The most. I mean it. The most epic section. I love this fucking game. This section was already beautiful in the original Half-Life. I mean, as much as it could be in Gold Souls, but...
I was right behind you. Were you as surprised about that as I was? It's a rope I can use for climbing. Careful. That was very cool. I, I, I know I fell to my death, but the fall looked very cool. This source engine handles slopes better than, you know, original Half-Life handled that section. Ammunition. The captioning spelling Jesus like that is funny to me. Anyway, wonder what this ammunition is for. Eh, it's probably just another random weapon that we'll only use once and never need to use again. like revolver ammo. It's very good. And useful. I'm gonna be out of revolver ammo like seconds after I find like a huge thing of enemies to use it on. Well, that's kind of how ammo works, but you, you get the picture. I really like using the revolver. So... I, I've done some researching. I literally still do not know if it's 3 point f or if it's 0 0.357 or 375. I'm going to go pee real quick. Watch over the military for me real quick. That was a very lovely one. 
seems a lot of planes looped past. <laughs> oh my god. That guy died in the most Looney Tunes way ever. Did you see that? I blew him to bits and pieces and then a singular leg fell down or something. That is... that That's like something you'd see in a Wes Craven movie, like Scary Movie or Scream. But like... Alright, first you just do this. Then you grab this rocket launcher. Cause, well, it's a rocket launcher. What more could you hope for? And then you uh, stock up on ammo, health, that sort of thing. Suit battery, really. Uh, turn full right off because it looks bad and isn't necessary for most of this chapter. And you just do this. Oh boy, this is a nice day in Black Mesa. I sure hope nobody's coming back for vengeance. Uh-oh. I may have second-guessed myself. Behind you, bro. Correct me if I'm wrong, partner, but your time is up. Get out of the sky. You're grounded. What killed me? What actually killed me there? That's stupid. Yeah, what killed me last time that didn't kill me this time? Anyway, listen to that soundtrack. I took revenge. Polly would be proud. Don't ask what that means. But yeah, I guess I uh, fricked that Hunter Chopper over earlier, and it didn't very much take kindly to how badly I made it look bad. So it tried to shatter my reputation by killing me. After all, if I'm dead, I don't really have much of a reputation now, do I? So I did its job to it. And it's gone. No more Hunter Chopper, no more military in this part. Just a peaceful little walk along the mountainside. Look at it. Just everything. Think about where we were earlier. Just launching a few... You know, just... Grabbing that uh, grabbing that handgun in office complex or unforeseen consequences, and you know using that to kill you know zombies and headcrabs. Now look where we are. 
using rocket launchers to kill entire Apaches. And messing up big jumps like that. Surprisingly, that was also a part of the experience. I like that it still allows you to do that. Aw, oh, the guy's still alive. Yeah, whatever. I can't zoom in on both at once. I should not have wasted that ammo. Oh my god, die. Proceeds to waste more ammo. There we go, now that we're done with that and we took down their hunter chopper, Apache, whatever you call it. How about we go? Let's continue fucking the military. Man, I was considering not killing him and letting him enjoy his marine meals. And then he just does that. So they think they're gonna kick my ass, but no. use this last guy up. Oh. Die when I tell you to. There we go. That said, I need health. Alright. Right, so murder is fun, but it's not fun when the marines are trying to murder me. Oh my god. Why did it make a quick save here? Quick save. Maybe the quick save is better. Great, 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 great. Thanks, thanks, thanks for fucking murdering me like that, you little prick.
Just two pistol clips. That's very helpful. Thanks. Okay, seriously though, what was that guy thinking? Oh, oh god, I... That happens all the time. Does not. Wow, 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 great, thanks. I really like the way that you fuck me over by, you know, making my aim insanely inaccurate. See, that's great, that helps a lot. Thank God. Alright. Stupid ass tank is done. Now I can play this game, making it look at least somewhat decent. I heard a footstep. This next part made me laugh on my first playthrough. Why does he mean what does he mean everybody get down? Everybody else is dead. Oh, I figured it out. You know, the reason why the thing that made me laugh. So normally he's supposed to make a big hole in this wall, like blow this up. And I killed it too fast, the tank that is, but it's heart shaped. I noticed that on my first playthrough, and I thought that was insanely funny, like... Happy Valentine's Day, Freeman. Wow. Don't do that. Hey, you can just run past these guys. No need to bother them. Except for this one. He's bothering you. 
those shotgunners, it's better to run away from them. Thank goodness we're past that point. I was about to blow him to bitch and pieces. Bit bits and pieces. Same thing. Whatever. Only rockets take him out fast. Was this here the whole time? I don't remember this room existing the first time I played this map. Anyway, the alien grunts are surprisingly idiotic. Also, thankfully, they don't do, like, 100% accuracy now. But I do. I really like the way that the chargers have, like, light shining out of them. That looks really awesome. Hey, this is a thing from... 2. It's one of those batteries in, uh sand traps that looks like a toaster, as I think I called it. I like how it does this with the trip mines, like... Oh! How did that do no much? That did, like, no damage to me. <sighs> That's a sniper. He's a bitch. Although it's really funny to see how all of his guts go flying when you kill him. Like, like, even if I just spawned him into hammer and hit him with a crowbar because- Oh, my- This was not in the game the first time I played it. I swear to Jesus and Mary, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, that that was not in the game the first time I played it. In fact, this entire area was not even open. So, what the hell?
Where? Where? Oh, there you are. They aren't like combine snipers. Their aim is not great. Is that the opening? I also don't remember there being a sniper, you know, right here, so... That's a... That's a leg. I killed that guy alright. Okay, so... I, I don't know what's wrong with my surface tension. Does anyone else remember this being here the first time they played? Likely not. I'm positive these grenades aren't killing him. He's supposed to have his gibbs flying everywhere, right? Okay, well, I'm in the range where he could, like, snipe me, so I guess not. Unless maybe he was that other sniper I killed. Which would explain a lot of things. Hi. Just in. Hi, Dad. May I come in for a second? Yes. Uh, Mommy and I are putting our pizza in the oven, and we're going to make you guys pizzas for dinner. Do you want us to go ahead and put yours in now? Sure, I'd like that. Okay. All right. <laughs> I stopped myself. I was about to be the dish fairy. That's fine. All right, guys, here's the part where you need Matt Fulbright. Need Matt Fulbright. Use your pistol to snipe them off. Let them be close to you. Let them give you damage. Otherwise, you're fucked. Also, everything in here except the trip mines, you need to shoot it twice in order to make it blow up. Really? Really, that is forgiving. I'll say that. Uh, <laughs> but... There it is. This is an area where you can sit down and rest. And go through here. I don't even remember how I did this part the first time, but I know I did it. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> it went along with the music. Uh, so I guess that's not the path. The music in this part is pretty good. Although it makes it like 10 times the amount of stressfulness. Didn't see that guy. I did it. Got over that. How did I not set that off? Whatever, the important thing is I didn't set it off.
I did set that off though, so that makes sense. Okay, this is a lot harder than I remember it being. I must have downloaded something, maybe a mod, that upgraded surface tension. I know there are mods that do that. So I'm going to have to assume that that is why... Hi! Well, we made it through that part. Oh my god, that was harder than I remember it being. Alright. Hey. You, get off that guy. You too. Thanks for giving me a moment to... I don't get the hive hand. Otis! Where the hell is the hive hand? Oh! Uh-oh. Here it is. <laughs> he always says something funny. He said, like, when you guys say you do anything for science, you really mean it. So, you're going to want to keep this guy with you for this part. Uh, for one thing, he has a revolver, and for another thing, there's a really interesting uh, line of dialogue that proves that these are not all Barney and Otis clones. Kind of good. turret that I destroyed? Nah, man. No, no, no. Be careful. Leave the goddamn area, Otis. Keep Otis alive. Run! 
run! And then he proceeds to not run and then get fucking gibbed by me. Kill this guy before he gets any close. Distract him, and then shoot him. Blow up that tank real quick. And then shoot that guy. Oh, thank god, Otis is still alive. Reserve this health back for him. I mean, I'm on a pretty high amount of health, so... Just 3% health, that's fine. I don't know if they regenerate health, but there are some guards who have never died in playthroughs. Not, like, and I'm not talking about, like, story essential guards. I'm talking about just guards in general who just don't die. Tell that guy to wait there. And you don't have to do anything for this part. Just launch all your hive hand ammo into here and it'll kill all of them. Be close. So you can just do that and cheat the system. Also, the security guard is still going to be alive because you tell him to. If you don't let- if you don't make him stay, he'll just run into here and get himself killed. He might get rid of one or two marines, but no, he'll die. Like, I know these guards. They'll stu- they're- Ah, oh, they're very dumb. But also very smart sometimes. When they make mistakes, yes. These security guards, they're all grubbing idiots, but when they make mistakes, they own them. Oh, his name is Jackson. Keep your light on, because I can't see this. Yeah, you earned it, buddy. You were good help. So there's, like, ammo for everything here, except for the snarks. Snark ammo is kind of rare. And not very useful. They're just kind of cannon fodder. Although, when there is a use for them, it's a pretty funny one. Anyway. Hey, uh, thanks again for the backup back there. You're welcome. I like these guys. 
So yeah, that is why you want to keep him alive. Not only is he really powerful and helpful, but there's also just that really cute moment between those two guards. Thank God if it wasn't for that ladder, I would have been toast. The recording would have been more toast than I would have been. Wait, what the... What the fuck? Alright, now I'm certain that I have an old mod that I forgot to uninstall. eyes were not open enough, buddy. Your failure. My success. Same thing. Hi, guys. What's up? Here to kill some uh, military guys? Me too. I have a feeling that those were actually friendly NPCs because they literally didn't harm me. They had the chance to. I didn't harm them. Yeah, you go, guys. Do it. Very bad idea to back over here for cover. Oh, there you are. All right, run back here. I need to see where I'm going and what I'm doing right now, like right now. And I need health. All right. We're very close, guys. Well, we're not exactly very close, but we're halfway there. Halfway to the end of the level. Oh god, this part. So this is the Tau Cannon, or Toe Cannon. Very hard boss fight, but I've gotten better at it. Anyway, let's just finish this up. That poor bastard doesn't stand a chance. Clear up the area real quick because, you know, we need to... I spy a little fucking idiot. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, something tells me that a lot of these marines are set to friendly on me and more unfriendly on those other alien creatures. Don't know if it's just me or something else. Yeah. Don't ask about that music. Oh! 
I don't get why, but this cannon gives people. Run. Or else more of them will just spawn in right afterwards. Use the Zen trampoline to go back to the, to go up to the next level, dude. Oh right, there are rocket mar launcher marines. I forgot, but cool. Hey guys, I'm no longer here to kill you. It's just some of you were in my way. I'm here to save the world. You can just let them in fight or you can speed it up and thin out the crowd. Hey there. It's like Hey, can I have your autograph? I'm a paparazzi. Anyway, I think there's an Easter egg up here, or like something important that you don't want to miss. Like supplies or something else. So. There's this part where the marines try and trick you into following one of their traps, but you can be a lot different than them. You can do something better than them and trap them. Hey, why are you running? And you can just throw them, throw snarks, and then hide. They'll just do it all. There have never been this many living soldiers after the I throw my Hold on. Fuck, I smell gasoline. False alarm, guys. My mom was just cooking a pizza. One that had, like, lots of mushrooms and shit on it that can smell weird. 
when, you know, exposed to the high heat. But nothing flammable and murderous. I left that on, didn't I? So this is not everything. At least I don't think it is. It is. So, you have to do something to proceed. Uh, break a lot of crates and such, obviously, if you want to. Nice, the Half-Life 2... Yeah, that's the Half-Life 2 gas canister. I like that that returned. Oh, here it is. Run, 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 run. Where are you? Alright. You're gonna need the toe cannon for this part. Don't worry about the insanely low health. I'm sure there's a kid around here somewhere. I'm I'm positive there has to be. I'm afraid not, and now this is the part where you're supposed to- Oh, thank god there's a health kit. Okay. I didn't jinx myself. I also really can't see, so I need to turn this on. I don't know if it's my computer or if it's my bot- If my eyesight- I doubt it's my eyesight. Because my eyesight's actually surprisingly good, my parents tell me, but whatever. So that's the military, guys. This next part is so badass. One of my favorite marine moments in the game. Also kind of the part that was really saddening. And hard to watch on my first playthrough. Oh, come on! This mod... Well, I guess here it is. I can watch it from a distance or just wait it out. That's Bloodhound 3. Oh, get over here. Head crab. Crab head. 
Thanks. Bye. Some of them will be focused on destroying Bloodhound 3. I'll help them with that. I'll just shoot that Bloodhound. Stupid ass alien grunt. Sadly, Goose 4 is dead, but uh, so is Bloodhound 3 in a moment. Because the Vortigaunts are close to its range of fire. If any of the soldiers step out to kill those Vortigaunts, they'll be dead. Um, if uh, Bloodhound 3 tries to run, they literally can't because they're stuck by the Vortigaunts. That's it for Bloodhound 3. Hey guys, thanks for destroying Bloodhound 3. You're, it really meant a lot to me. Anyway. More weapons, more ammo, please, something. Well, there's health, that's actually helpful. Alright, uh, anything? Security guards? God, this part of the game gets lonely. I'm not even sure I took a single damage point from that thing. I literally don't know, but... Wow, I killed that thing fast. As fast as he killed that poor Marine. So now let's continue killing Marines, because... Oh, yeah. Epic soundtrack moment. Soundtrack. <laughs> the Marine jumped. Oh, that Vortigaan saw me. That's not very good. Thank you. Could you bring it in here? So sorry. Where? 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 Where the fuck is that grunt? Thank God. Ah! All right, a health pack, please. That's not a health pack. 
That is a... That is a lifetime supply of demons from hell. That is not a health pack. Hey, I'm fine. These are health packs, though. <laughs> James, your dinner's ready. I know. Anyway, guys, I'm going to just continue this in a second. Hmm. Oh, all right, we're live. Got it. I'm back. Just do this. Run down here. That guy got gibbed. Hey guys. Uh oh. Alright, we've put out that gas fire, that's good. Don't step on this for too long, it'll burn your feet off. Why the hell does that happen?
Do it nice and quietly, as this guy says. Uh oh, they saw us. Way ahead of you, Doc. We made it. What, you want me to get rid of them all? Fine, I'll just kill this last grunt. Okay, why though? And where? Where's this last grunt? Found him. You're dead. There's another Easter egg in this modded version of the game that I wanted to show you that. If you don't skip through it, um, then you'll find this one. Stop it. What the fuck caused that? That's what caused it. Great. Let me just show you what happens afterwards, or what happens if you don't skip that other part.
Anyway, there's a guy here. Uh, meet uh, the crying U.S. Marine soldier. I'm gonna call him Dave. You can't get any voice lines out of him, he's just crying. Although you can be a little bit of a psycho psychotic bitch to him. So I guess that weighs out all the bads. Anyway, let's go back to the other part. There's also just this guy. See, he has a gun, but he doesn't want to kill me. He doesn't even care. Alright guys. No, wrong way. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Fire. I think he's dead. Might not be, might be, never know. Uh-oh. No! I should not have done that. I, uh, wow, I crashed the game. Although, I'm basically done with the chapter, so... Thanks for watching. I'm so happy to be done.